According to the Center for Disease Control, in 2016, over 1,600 Tennesseans died of an opioid overdose. Those Tennesseans were brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, and sons and daughters. It is clear we cannot let this continue. Beginning in October, over 50 bills addressing the opioid crisis have passed the House. This week, I supported over a dozen specifically aimed at combating opioid crisis. These bills are focused on fighting the opioid crisis in four main ways. Treatment and recovery, prevention, protecting communities, and fighting fentanyl. For example, prevention methods like supporting NIH's continued research into non-addictive treatment methods can stop addiction before it starts. If we can stop addiction before it starts by offering non-addictive alternatives, we can save lives. This is just one example of how Washington is fighting the opioid epidemic, but we cannot do it alone. Communities are helping too. In Tennessee and across our nation, drug courts are agents of change, giving those who have struggled with addiction and won the tools they need to find success in their communities. Nationwide, there are more than 150,000 people currently involved in drug courts who are going back to school, back to work, back to their community. One drug court in my district alone sees 86% of graduates with a job and nearly all of them graduate the program with safe, stable housing. We can fight the opioid addiction, but we need to come together from D.C. to Tennessee and all across the United States. Join me in fighting to end the opioid addiction.